Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to utilize ClickFunnels 2.0 where you can set up your privacy policy pages, terms and conditions, support, and any of those legal related pages that usually go at the bottom of a landing page. If you'd like to follow along, I will put my link down below and if you click that, you can get a free ClickFunnels 2.0 trial. Also, if you're already a customer or you're using it, you can use that to log in and follow along. So what we want to do, first things first, you are going to need some type of funnel, okay? This is going to be the page where I, you know, just upload them. So that's going to be the first thing you need. If you have that already, you're going to be good to go. You're just going to need to link these once you create them. Next from there, what do you want to do is go to this section with sites and funnels. And then from there, you just want to click on pages. So these are going to be standalone pages. You don't really need them in a funnel. They're just out of it. And then you link it to it. So let's do new page. And I'm going to do start from blank. Let's just call this. Privacy policy sounds good for me, and I'm just going to do create page. Okay, so now that we're here, what I want to do is just create some uh, sections here so we can utilize this. I'm going to go with wide. Uh, one column's fine, and the top is going to be the headline where we can just put privacy policy. P-R-I. Okay, and under that, I'm going to do a new element. And this is going to be paragraph. This is where it's going to go. Now, I found a website that does them for free. I don't know how legit they are. I am not a lawyer. I'm not like recommending them or using them. That's going to be up to you. This is just as an example, one I created very quickly uh, using what they have here. So I'm going to copy all of this. And let's do that. In case you're curious, it's privacypolicygenerator.info. Okay, and I'm going to go here and I'm just going to simply paste that in. Now, that looks atrocious just because uh, it's not obviously separated. So what you could probably do is uh, actually, let me see if I can notepad this. Sometimes it breaks a little bit easier. Uh, let's see if I copy it from there. Let's try that. No, still didn't do it. So what you would need to do, it looks like, is just go through and see where the line breaks are. And then obviously, oops go through and uh, change it like that, add some breaks to it. Uh, the next one would be the privacy policy applies or something like that, you know, going through and just, you know, putting breaks in it so it looks better. You don't want to make it look, it, it's anything. I mean, if you look at that, I see that all the time online, people write like Facebook posts or, or back in the day in forums where it just looks like this. It's just so hard to read. And uh, I'll just going to show you what that looks like anyway. So a little bit of wordsmithing and changing it around just to make it a little bit more appealing. But uh, that's what how that would look. Okay, so we save that. We are good with that. Uh, and let's go back. Okay, so now what I want to do, I can just go to the edit section here and I can copy the link. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. And now all we need to do, let's just, you got to either update or delete there. So let's just do update. And I'm going to go back to where the funnel was originally. And obviously we have our privacy policy. We can do this. We can link it. Uh, we can paste that in there. And I want to open this in a, a new window or new tab. And that is kind of ugly in terms of the link. So I'm going to make that like a, a lighter blue color, something like that. Okay, let's save. And let's preview. Great, and so when I click on this, it should open my privacy policy as it does perfectly. Okay, so that's how you can go about creating your separate privacy policy pages, terms and conditions, support, anything else that might be at the bottom. Obviously, what you put on them is going to be up to you. I just use this once again as an example from a website that just spits them out for free if you enter in some information about what you've got going on with your specific page. So that's how you can add them. The biggest difference here, as we talked about before, is that you're going to want to create them in standalone pages because you really don't need these in funnels. It's not like people are going to their opt-in and you're sending them straight to a privacy policy. They work great as a standalone page. And then you link to them where you need to on your appropriate landing pages. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you want to test out ClickFunnels 2.0, I will have my link in the description. If you click that, you can get a free 14-day trial. That about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.